What's up you guys? Sure to miss Prime here and I have a confession to make. I'm greedy. I'm a very, very greedy person, man. I have so much stuff to do. I'm gonna just tackle this issue right now. Okay, right here, right now. I'm gonna talk about the contest. Contest, alright? I don't have results. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to let you guys down. Uh, but I've been extremely busy lately and uh, been posting the videos, you know, every day. A couple videos a day, most for the most part. Uh, but I don't have my contest winners yet, as I, as I had mentioned before, it's going to take a little bit going through it, and it's definitely, I feel like such a, t <laughs> it's actually quite funny, I feel like a total idiot, I did this to myself. If anybody's willing to help me, uh, you know, get the contest list together, or the, the, uh, the, the winners list together, that would be, gr I would be extremely grateful, uh, it, it's just a lot of work sorting through and finding out everybody who left all all the comments on all the videos. It's just a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we make mistakes, man. You know what I mean? We do stupid things sometimes and uh, you know, you try to learn from it and move on. But if anyone's down to help me out, uh, let me know. It's got to be somebody that I, I'm i already familiar with that I trust. So um, if I turn anybody, any, anybody's help down, it's just because of that. So I'm just looking for people that are, you know, f familiar F familiar faces, familiar names, if you're, anyone's down to just volunteer their time and help me get this list together, okay? Uh, this complete list anyway. So I have been working on it, haven't forgotten about it, and I want to give this stuff out and uh, as much as you guys want to get it. So uh, aside from that, um, a couple other things I want to talk about really quick. San Diego Comic Con happened. Damn, that was awesome. Thanks for you guys for watching those interview videos. I want to do a haul video talking about all the stuff that I picked up. And uh, I also do want to. I also want to do a video just talking about my experience at Comic Con. I didn't do that last year, and I don't want too much time to go by to where I just completely miss it again this year. So that was kind of a bummer. I didn't make one last year. So I may do a comparison video with the two different Comic Cons. You know, I don't know. We'll see. And um, and then I think there's something else I wanted to talk about. There's a bunch of stuff that I picked up and ordered that I haven't had a chance to to review. So. I'm going to still do all these SDCC exclusives and try to mix in the, all these. It's just a lot of stuff I have to post, man. So a lot of work to be done. And, um, yeah, so anyway, thankfully, and this is kind of funny, but thankfully you guys didn't send me any packages in the mail, which is kind of funny, which sounds ridiculous. But, um, yeah, because I have so much. And I have a lot of stuff to review that you guys have sent me. Uh, uh, Devil's Do, he sent me the... Um, uh, the 3A figure that I still, the Jesus Christ Warrior figure, I still haven't, on display, but I haven't reviewed it yet. Alfonso sent me a bunch of stuff. I will have a uh, Gambit up this Thursday, though. So Alfonso sent me a bunch of stuff that I haven't gotten to review yet. Uh, Theron sent me the Game of Thrones figures. I haven't reviewed those. So there's, you know, I'm a greedy asshole, man. I'm such a jerk. I'm not that hard on myself. But I just want to let you guys know that I haven't forgotten, alright? So, just putting that out there. And, yeah, please, anybody that's willing to volunteer, send me a private message on Facebook. Something like that. Oh, and the relaunch of uh, my website, ShardmasPrime.net. Um, I had lost the domain. Uh, Charlita1 had started the, the domain, uh, domain, domain, the domain for ShardmasPrime.com. And then, uh, and then she asked me if I wanted to pay for it again. I was like, nah, you know what? Nah, I don't really do anything with it. And then now uh, I thought to myself, wait, you know, I should actually try to look that up. So I tried to get it. Turned out Yahoo bought uh, ShardimusPrime.com. They swooped it up and bought it. So I, I went back on my decision and wanted to mess with that a little bit. So I've been messing around with that website. Got a whole that thanks to thanks to a friend of mine who steered me into the direction a better direction because. What we were using before for the dot com was just way too complex and complicated. You couldn't do anything with it. What we're, what we're doing with GoDaddy right now, it's just so much easier. So already I'm liking what I have. Uh, on the front page, I have the chart art right there. So it's a slideshow of chart art, which uh, I'm calling the chart art. Uh, it's not all the art that you guys send me. It's just the art that's based around uh, me. You know what I mean? Cause, like I said, selfish prick, right? So... Um, just, you know, stuff that deals either with my face or the Shardimus Prime robot. The Shard the real Shardimus Prime fan art, as opposed to, you know, stuff of Spider-Man or Joker or other stuff like that. So that, if you guys send me artwork, which I'm sure I'm going to see right here, um, I'll take, I've been taking pictures of those and, and putting them in that slideshow so you could see your own artwork on my website. 
thought that was a pretty neat idea. It was my own idea, so of course I thought it was a great idea. Anyway, this right here is Two Shard of This one came all the way from Indonesia. This is from Feral Boss Man. And it was already kind of opened a little bit right there. So, uh, let's see. Kind of, you got a peek at his address, but trust me, I'm sure you didn't read the whole thing because it is long. All right, and now there are a lot of letters here. I'm hoping uh, if, if the letters are, are going on for a while, then I may have to do two videos. But here we go. We got some artwork. Ooh, this is my custom superhero. All right, there we go. This is custom superhero. Uh, probably show that again in a second after I read the letter. Reading the letters is always a good idea. And this is all stapled together over here. But uh, I don't want to ruin anything. Yeah. Alright. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like this picture right here. It says, uh, Hey, what's up, Shardimus Prime? My name is Farrell, and I'm... And I live in Indonesia. I am your viewer since 2012. Damn, you are the best reviewer for me. You inspired me to collect more action figures, especially Spider-Man, because he is my favorite superhero. And I think your videos are funny. Keep it up. And I also send you my art. Hope you enjoy it. Sincerely, Farrell. Toys are hella sick. Toys are hella sick. Nice. Thanks, man. And that right there. So I'm going to take a snapshot of that. And then put that on shardisprime.net. Thanks, man. All right, so we saw his original superhero. And we have, uh, oh, cool, Scarlet Spider. The Kane Scarlet Spider right there. Pretty dope. I like that. And we have, uh, what's this? Oh, nice Deadpool. I'm digging this. With great chimichangas come great Deadpool. Deadpool. Hey, Shardimus, cool review, bro. Keep it up. Cool review, bro. Thanks, Deadpool. Right on. Nice. Very cool. Alright, give me the pointy fingers and thumbs. Nice. Right on, man. Good stuff. All the way from Indonesia. That's very, very awesome. Alright, now this right here is from David Gonzalez. And in California. Oh, there's no. Uh, oh, yeah, San Diego, California. There you go. And. Let's open this up. We're just in San Diego, California. It was a really good Comic Con, by the way. I had a good time. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I have enough to talk about to, uh, you know, to go through and... Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, whole video talking about Comic-Con. Hi, Shardimus, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel, and I know you love Marvel Legends. And I was wondering if you would trade Mandroid Complete in mint condition for DC Collectibles Arkham Origins Batman. Got that figure and reviewed it. Thanks, though. Now, and, yeah, the Mandroid, I can't get rid of it. Uh, you can reach me at Nova123FH on Instagram or on Facebook, David Gonzalez. Also, I've asked you a question on Facebook to make it easier to find me. FYI, I live around Elk Grove near Sacramento. Sacramento. We can meet up at, uh, at Toys R Us. I love your videos. Thanks so much, man, and keep it up. Thank you for your time, Shardmas. Big time let down Spider-Man. LOL. Always... Laugh when you brought it up. Right on, man. Cool. No, thanks for watching the videos. Um, but or the, mostly the Marvel stuff, I guess, because you didn't know that I already had that Batman figure. Can't trade Mandroid for two Batmans. Don't need two Batman. I'm just teasing you, man. Anyway, okay. So this one right here is from David, and he is from Florida. And I'm gonna open this up without tearing anything. And. Alright, it says read first. Alright, will do. I do like, typically I try to read them first. Okay, this one's kind of long. Shardimus Prime! Look here, I seen my tongue. Whoa, what? I seen my tongue give hard bottle on popcorn. Lots of love. They kiss their puppy. Ain't nothing new to me. Another monkey, another postcard for awesome golf club. But it's not going to change. How do you spell big time let down Spider-Man? About eight years ago. I live in America just like you. Been watch your internet videos since I've been in here. Been in here. They let me on internet and on weekdays. It's Sticky Neil Diamond. You're my one and only girl. Come along with me. I guess you have a cell phone and keep it dry under your umbrella. Don't do it inside. Better do it, better do it. I feel so clean. Send reply by mail. Joke around and get toes together. Want to y'all sold all that shit anymore. 
Good looking shoes sandwich bag. Mirror spray smells good. New bag. Shardimus, you are so cool. And happy serious look drinking free juice. Drew you a picture. They make copy for my file. Big white chair for fat ladies. Didn't care. Look that played up six or seven times. Keep pooping. LOL. Enjoy picture. Share a bag. A chips something big fan David Sheets. P.S. Bed bug season. What you like do for fun. And that's and that's what the and the, and that's what that looks like. All right, man. Okay, and it says and it's dated today right there at the top. All right, and let's see what it says right over here. And there we go. Wow. That is hardcore nasty. Okay, I can't show any of this stuff for you guys. Um, but really, I am freaked out. I, I am... Pff, wow. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is insane. Like, actually, kind of... Um, you, you guys ever... Okay, so, just... Wow. There's a guy pooping in a Target bag... Pouring bleach into some chick's butt, and some, and then there's chicks with dicks pissing on the chick's face, and then there's this. Oh my God! Yeah, all right. This is probably this is really the freakiest letter I have gotten by far. You done freaked me out, man. That that's pretty. But hey, thanks for watching the videos. But yeah, that that uh, that was actually. Should I lead one look at this? I'm actually kind of like weirded out. <laughs> oh man, I can't show it to you guys. But damn, yeah, it's it. Wow, Wh who's that from? Let me see. It's just about every offensive image you can imagine. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, David Sheets, right on, David Sheets. Well, oh. Yeah, Grace Point Wellness. Okay, yeah, so he came from, a, you know, some kind of institution or something. Right on. Well, thanks for sending the love, you know what I mean? Even though you kind of weirded me out a little bit, thanks for the love, man. Um, Julian, Julian from France. Um, <laughs> read the letter. <laughs> you got to read the letter, though. That's actually a little bit more... I don't know, they're both on the same... Wow. Hey, hey you! Alright, now on the total opposite end of things, we get this postcard right here from France. Nice. Or, no, this is actually from Corsica. Okay. But, yeah, so, change things up. I can show you guys this. And this is, this is G compared to what the drawings had, by the way. That was like, wow. Uh, and then, oh, Helena and Julian. Alright, so... All right, uh, Corsica Sunday. All right, hey, Shardimus on July 20th is when he sent this. I am a French fan, and I write this letter from Corsica, where I spend my holidays with my fiance Hel Hel Helena, who loves you too. I'm lucky to love a fiance who allows me to collect uh, action figures as well as I am. <laughs> We're both lucky men. Uh, the rest of the year, we live in uh, Toulouse, Tulu, uh, funny pronunciation in English, Toulouse. Okay, Toulouse, uh, in in the south of France. This city is also known as the uh, the Pink City because of the color of the buildings. I watch your videos every day since two years, and you are my favorite toy reviewer. I love you. Uh, I love your humor. After watching several of your P.O. Box pickups, I decided to write to you. I chose this card because I know you love. Uh, I know your love for big butts, and there are big butts on the beach in Corsica. Nice! Alright. And uh, I totally understand you. I'm also a lover of butts and toes, but uh, but early girls' toes, not Hulk toes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I started... I don't think it says only girls' toes, not Hulk's toes. Yeah, I know. I joke about the Hulk toes. Uh, I started collecting with Hasbro Star Wars Vintage Collection. I also love TMNT figures, SH figure, or Dragon Ball Z figures, and NECA's action figures from 80s movies like Alien, Predator, Robocop, etc. Stay the same and continue your great job. Take care, Julian. P.S. My fiance and I hope you will send us an autograph. And if you came, if you come to France, don't forget to 
to visit Toulouse. PPS, sorry for my English. I'm French. Well, nobody's perfect. Oh, don't diss the French. Got a bunch of love for the French. Right on, man. Thanks so much. That This is a great card. Thank you. Kind of washed me over after, the, after that other one right there. Cool. And then they got a picture of the two of them right there on their holiday. And we have our Nagona one more time. One more time for the Nagona right there. And the lovely Charlita one's face is... Is <laughs> she's still looking at that other letter? <laughs> Damn, man. I'm not trying to incur. Yeah, that's cool though. Uh, Nico from Cor West Corvina, California. Thank you so much, Julian Helena, for watching. And definitely, I will give you guys a shout uh, if I'm going to France. I would love to go to France. Ooh, we got new shark art. Nice. It's like two Shartimus, Sh Shartimus Prime and Charlita One. Nico, aka Triple X Tar. And then, was there a letter in here too? Oh no, no letter. Right on, man. Very cool short of Miss Pratt. And he has a mask. He has the mask on covering that big nose. See the big nose? See? Very cool, right on. This will be taken photo. I'll put this in the photo pile. Thank you. And here we have a. Uh, oh, this one looks. This is from Singapore. Alright. And. <laughs> that I'm gonna put this aside. I'm not gonna lie, man. That was <laughs> that uh, we read a letter from the the letters. Very that that other one was pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Dear Char, I, I feel bad. I shared it with Charlita. I shouldn't have let you see it. Oh, you're the one who popped in here and wanted to look. <laughs> you know you usually don't have anything that awkward. <laughs> Or anything awkward. This is like, okay, the thing is, is that it's not just vile, it's like extremely vile. What's with the turkey over here? Um, it's a combination, you know, it's, it, it, it's so, it's, it's the worst stuff that you could ever possibly see on the internet. There's a lot of Pain Olympics stuff on here, too. It's just extremely gory. There's a guy, like, covered with rats eating him and he's chopping his own thing off like that's in there. It's it's really bad. Anyway, dear Shartimus, hey, what's up, Shart? I sincerely hope this letter reached you. My name is uh, Pia Thuta. Uh, you can call me Thuta. Uh, you're probably wondering what kind of weird name is that? Haha. <laughs> well, it's because I was born and raised in Myanmar, and my family migrated to Singapore when I was 12. I found out about your channel when I was 14, and now I'm 16. Hey, it's a two-year ride with you and still counting. I started reading comics since I was 12 and collecting action figures when I was 14. You're my biggest inspiration to collecting action figures. I wanted to share with you my opinion on comics. If you ask me to choose between heroes and villains, I would definitely go with villains. Just like heroes, villains aren't born, they are made. Different circumstances of life have shaped and molded them into villains and most of them are driven by madness, anger, ambition, and so on. I hate it when people are just being ignorant like they know Spider-Man but not Doc Ock, they know Captain America but not Baron Zemo, they know Wolverine but not Sabretooth or Omega Red. Heroes and are villains' greatest achievement. If there is no villain, there would be no heroes. No Joker, no Batman, no, Le no Lex Luthor, no soups. They're like co coexisting. Sorry for my long ass letter, I appreciate your effort to read all my crap and pardon my lousy English. English sounds dead on to me, man. Uh, I've sent you some artwork of mine. It's just my token of thanks for your years of entertainment. Say hi to lovely Charlita One for me. You guys really make the perfect couple. Please continue your hella awesome reviews and live shows. Your fans love you. You'll be an awesome father someday. Oh, thanks, man. P.S. Please do check out my Facebook, uh, Thu uh, Pia Thua, and it, I can't pronounce your last name, which is... Uh, all your friend and inbox me if you have time. Right on, man. Oh, cool. Nice artwork. Let's take a look at this. This is cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really like that. Alright, here we go. We got baby X-Men right here. The inks come out really good on camera. Just And then you get Wolverine shadowing over them. So it looks like the baby X-Men are going to get squashed by Wolverine. Can't really tell. And we have Hulk Throne Tank. I like that. Got Hulk does right there. Very, very cool. Digging this. And then we get Leonardo all armed up and everything. Nice art, man. Thank you. Send it all the way from Singapore. And your English is fantastic, by the way. Fantastic English. Alright, and we have three more letters. And so I'm not gonna do a two-part video. And, ooh, we got some, uh, ooh, it looks like a patch in here. 
Let's see. It's like a Marvel patch. Nice. Oh, can't go wrong with that. That is sick. Check that out. Nice. Got a Marvel. I got a Marvel patch now. Got my Rancid patch. Perfect. Sick, you guys. Thank you. Uh, whoa. You, what the hell? Uh, it says, Dear Shardimus, you do very informative reviews and you deserve a lot more subscribers. I was wondering if you're going to be reviewing the Pokemon SH Figure Arts line in the future. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, did you always buy and collect figures as you were a kid? And since you have grown older, have you started? And uh, who is your favorite superhero? Spider-Man and favorite superhero movie? Uh, the Avengers. Uh, and which is your favorite supervillain? Joker. And most importantly, who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Leonardo. And I have enclosed a cool piece of decorative fabric and carbon fiber that I hope you enjoy. Your reviewer, the Mazda Mamba. Wow, very cool. And what what is this? Uh, oh, this, whoa. I, I don't know what to make of this. Is this a solid black piece or is there, a, is there a logo in there or something that I can't make out yet? I don't know. Mazda Mamba, thank you. Please explain. I don't know what this is, but uh, this picture right here of the turtles is amazing. And you had another question I didn't answer over here. And I said I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't do the SH Figo Arts Pokemon stuff. I may or may not, probably not though. Uh, did you always buy and collect figures as you were a kid? Yes. Uh, Transformers is the youngest I remember buying figures, and then Ninja Turtles, uh, Batman, Superpowers, DC figures, the Marvel figures. I still have. I have like a bag in this closet over here that's just like full of like the old toys that I still have. But check out this. Look at these turtles. I'm excited for the turtles movie coming out this weekend. It's coming up very, very soon. Dope. Nice artwork, man. Alright, now we got two more. I'm going to save the heaviest one for last. And then this one right here is from Houston, Texas. This is Ricardo. And... Yeah. Um, whoa. Alright, let's see what this is. And, oh wow, looks like some X-Men bobbleheads. And Shardimus Prime. Alright, let's read the letter first and let's see what it says here. Um, Hey, Shardim has tried to contact you via Facebook, but I couldn't. I'm sending you these figures from Mexico. They came out in a cake called Ganisto. And since there is almost none collectibles from X-Men Days of Future Past, I wanted you to have this. I'm a big fan of your reviews. Keep up the great work, man. Daniel Herrera from Monterrey, Mexico. Wow, man. Thank you. This is... Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. There's like... There, there's no figures from X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Very wow, that storm kind of came out looking mang. Okay, we have Mystique, Magneto, younger Magneto, older Magneto, or older Professor X, and older. So there's the older Magneto, future Magneto, Oop. future Professor X, young Magneto, Mystique, and. Storm, future storm. Right on, man. Thank you. That is awesome. Yeah, I actually haven't seen any figures at all. Right on, dude. Good stuff. This is right here. Good stuff. Make sh making sure I get all my X-Men goodies in there. So don't worry. This bag thing is heavy. I just want to make sure I'm not throwing anything away. And last but not not blah, blah. last but not least, this came all the way from Alabama. All right. This. Is this out? No, it's not from Alabama. What? Where? Oh, Canada. Okay, Alberta, Canada. It feels like a figure in here. Let's see here. Whoa! What is this? Oh, nice. All oh, right, on. Yeah, I'm gonna show that off in a second. Thanks, man. Oh, that'll go with my Batman. All right, and it says here. Hey, Sherman's Prime, my name is Jaden, and I live in Alberta. Uh, dude, you rock. You really helped me find the kid and myself again. Well, you might remember, but I was the one who sent you the big box of figures with the with the Luchador Spider-Man mask. Yes, I have, I have it right here. And I hope you found use and are enjoying most of the stuff I sent. Thank you, man. Uh, well, anyways, I have been messaging you a lot on Facebook, and I really appreciate when you respond. Thanks for getting back so quick. See it. See, some people message me and they say that, oh, I, I've messaged you and you never get back to me. And then other people say, oh, thanks for getting back to me on Facebook. So I try. 
All right, I don't always get back to everybody, but I try to respond to the Facebook messages. It's just, it, you know, uh, I'm not trying to brag, but uh, there's like a lot of people on Facebook that send the messages. Okay, so anyway, I know you're busy, so it means a lot. Okay, well, when I sent, <laughs> and that's him saying that. Okay, well, when I sent you the box, I told you I did not know what I wanted to do collect. I decided upon Batman stuff, so I'm clearing out most of my collection. I have no need for this figure, so I want you to have it. Thanks, man. It's the DC Collectibles New 52 Superman single carded version with the regular face sculpt. I picked this up at EB Games with the New 52 Batman last year for about 26 bucks a figure, so it's a decent figure. I hope you don't already have this one because I never seen it. Uh, on your dorkroom tours. Hope you enjoy it and possibly review it. That would be sweet. Also, I messaged you a while ago asking your head size. I mean, oh, that was you. See, that's how I couldn't get back, and I still don't know my head size. I make custom props, and I'm making you your own Adam West 1966 Batman cow. Right on. Uh, thanks, man. Right on. And uh, I want to make sure it fits you your, your head size. So getting your size would really help. It would be great if you could give me a shout out on the channel. Axel Young, A X L Y O U N G. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks, Axel. Right on. I actually do not have this Batman or this Superman figure, and this would actually go really. I've eyeballed this figure numerous times. I've only passed on it because the articulation just didn't. Uh, it had not really improved from what they're giving us from uh, the DC uh, DC Direct but I really like this sculpt and this is very cool and I'm actually reading Superman now that I think uh, I think Jeff Johns is writing Superman so nice man thank you and here's a look at the Superman again being all greedy and just sharing it for myself so yeah very cool he's got the S on the back Nice, I could put this with my Capullo Batman, those will fit into scale pretty well. And I have, oh yeah, and I have a Bizarro too, so nice, man. I can definitely add this to my collection, I really appreciate it, thank you. Alright, you guys, so that covers it. Oh, and I also have this other, and I also have the, uh, this new 52 Earth 2 Batman I, I can add to display. So, gotta do some cleaning up in the dark room, amongst a bunch of other things. So, any hey, you guys, you have letters and artwork that you want to send to the P.O. Box, please send to Shortness Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I was weirded out earlier. That was pretty, that, that one letter is kind of strange, but I'm moving past it. Thanks for all the love, regardless, weird or not. I appreciate it. All right, I'll catch you guys later. And please, hit me up on, I say Facebook, but I'm going to keep my, an eye out. Like, say something at the top of the message, like, help you with the contest kind of thing so it can stand out and reach out at me, okay? If you're down to help me out uh, with the contest. So we can get this rolling, and then I can send the figures out. That would be a great help. If not, I'm still going to work on it and try to get the contest completed and everything in a timely fashion. It's just I'm very busy. Lots of stuff to review. A lot of stuff to put out there. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.